Welcome to Ag Lab. Today we're going to look at agroforestry. Agroforestry is a combination of agriculture with forestry, just like it sounds. In other words, it's when trees and shrubs are deliberately planted on farms with livestock and crops. Agroforestry has many environmental benefits, including preventing erosion, increasing wildlife diversity, sequestering carbon, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and even providing natural materials for biofuels. Did you know that agroforestry helped save the U.S. farming industry in the 1930s? During that time, erosion, droughts, and dust storms wreaked havoc in the Great Plains area, from North Dakota to Texas. President Roosevelt and the U.S. Forest Service implemented the Prairie States Forestry Project, which involves strategically planting trees around farmlands. This enabled farmers to protect their crops and homes from the disastrous conditions of the Dust Bowl period. Trees from this life-saving agroforestry project still stand in many of the former Dust Bowl states. Today, there are five widely recognized categories of agroforestry. Alley cropping is when food, forage, or specialty crops are grown between rows of trees. Forest farming is when high-value specialty crops like herbs and mushrooms are cultivated under tree canopies. These tree canopies provide shelter and shade for the crops. Silvopasture combines trees, forage, and livestock animal grazing. Riparian forest buffers are strips of vegetation made of trees, shrubs, and grasses that are planted alongside rivers and streams to reduce erosion and runoff. Windbreaks are trees or shrubs specifically planted and managed as natural barriers against wind, dust, chemicals, and even odors. All five methods help ensure we have an environmentally friendly and sustainable practice of farming, which will keep food on our plates for years to come. ARS researchers across the country are helping growers and ranchers introduce and improve agroforestry practices on their lands. In Fort Collins, Colorado, we're researching the effects of windbreaks on soil erosion as well as their overall potential as conservation tools. In Ames, Iowa, we're studying field windbreaks' impact on soil carbon and nitrogen cycling. And in Tifton, Georgia, we're using riparian forest buffers as a tool to trap sediment and nutrient runoff from agricultural fields. You can find more about agroforestry by visiting our website and searching for agroforestry. We look forward to seeing you next time on AgLab. Lab.